Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to update Clone Hero Texture Mods from any older version of the game. So, if you haven't already, I definitely suggest that you go watch the first video that I made, which goes over the very basics on how to mod the game, which just goes over how to import and export textures from the data file. So, if you don't know how to do that, or you're a little bit uh, confused on how to do it, go ahead, go back, watch that video, and then come back here, and you should understand how to do the very basics of everything that we're going to be doing here today. So, to get started, you're obviously going to need the data file for the mod that you want to update. So you're going uh, for me, I'm going to be doing the uh, score box for the Guitar Hero 3 theme. This is the same way that I used the, the previous version and updated it to 23.1, which is actually out right now for version 23.1. If you like the Guitar Hero 3 aesthetic and you want it in Clone Hero, you can come to the Clone Hero modding Discord, as well as if you need any help or just want to you know, talk about mods or share your mods here, you can do so. There's a lot of different channels for all the different types of mods. And yeah, it's a really awesome place if you like modding the game. So, what I'm going to do is download the older version of the game, or uh, the theme. So that would be right here. And that should start downloading. And now that you have the zip file with the, the data file for the mod, you want to take that. And you should have this folder here, which is Clone Hero Modding Tools. There's a download link in the description. But if you watched the last video, you should have this already. It's just a folder that I have that has a bunch of directories to keep everything organized. It's got backup textures and data files for 23.1. And it's also got the asset extractor, which is very important. It's what you're going to need to import and export textures. So what we're going to do is download the mod that we want to update, go into data files, and go to projects. And we're going to make a new folder here to save that data file. So I'm just going to name this GH3. And then we're going to take that data file and put it in here. There we go. And now we can close this. So from here, what we're going to do is export the textures from the modded data file that we want to update. So go ahead and open up the asset bundle extractor. Go into file and open. All right, go into your clone hero modding tools. Go to data files. Go into projects. And wherever you saved it, go ahead and open it up. Click on info, and then sort by type two times to filter by alphabetical order, and go down to texture 2D, which is all the textures for the game. You want to find the sprite sheet, which is right here, SACTX 248 by 4096. Click on it, make sure it's highlighted blue, click on plugins, and export to PNG. And then we are going to go back to the main folder here, click on textures. We're going to have exported textures, and we're going to just name this whatever the mod is that you want to update. So from there, we can just go ahead and close out of this, and we don't need that open no more. So what we're going to do now is go into your uh, textures folder, go into default textures and 23.1, and you should have the default sprite sheet right here for 23.1. So if it's a newer version, then you won't be using this sprite sheet. Uh, if it is a newer version, I'll go over what you should do then, which is open up the asset extractor one more time. We're going to click on file and open. Go into your clone hero folder. Go into the data unity 3D in the clone hero data folder. You may have, uh, ask you to unpack it, just click on yes. And then go into the clone hero modding tools, data files, and unpacked and then just save it in here. It doesn't matter what you name it as long as you just have that file saved. So go ahead and click on info and do the exact same thing. We're gonna click on U2018-30F2 if it pops up with this window. And then we're gonna do the same thing and just export this texture. There we go, SACTX 2048 by 4096 plugins, export to PNG, go into textures, exported textures, and we will name it the version and defaults. 23.1 default. So those are the default textures for version 23.1. So now, like I said, uh, you don't have to do all that if you are currently on 23.1, but if you're in a future update, the Sprite Atlas changes the location of all the different textures, so you're going to need to do this and get the new texture file for the newer versions. 
but if you are on 23.1, you can just go ahead and use the included one here that's already extracted, right there. All right, so now that we have those two textures extracted, we are going to need to get the default sprite sheet for the version that the mod is currently on. So to do that, we're going to go to the Clone Hero website, clonehero.net. We're going to go to releases up here at the top right. I'm gonna scroll down. And for me, this version is 22.1, I believe. I'm gonna make sure. Yep, Clone Hero version 22.1 for this mod. So we're gonna download that. Click the download button. There we go, we're just gonna have to wait for this. All right, so now that we have this downloaded, we are going to take this data file and go into the Clone Hero modding tools, data files, go into default data files and make a folder for the version that this is. So for me, it's gonna be version 22.1. And we're going to take the data file from inside the Clone Hero data folder inside the zip and drag it right into here. So now we have the default data file for the version that the mod is currently on. And now we are going to go back to Clone Hero Modding Tools, Asset Extractor, and the Bundle Extractor. And we are going to do the same process and get the default Sprite Atlas for the version that the mod is currently on. So, default. There we go, data files. You're gonna have to unpack again, most likely. So go ahead, go into data files and unpacked and just save it here. Again, it doesn't matter what you name it as long as you save the file to have all the data unpacked. So now go ahead and click on info. We're going to do the same thing. Sort for texture 2D. And we are going to find the sprite atlas. Right here. Now I'm going to click on plugins, export to PNG. And we are going to save it under textures, exported textures and 22.1 default. And then we can close this up. And now we have all the texture files that we need to begin editing the images and updating these textures. So go ahead and open up Photoshop or whatever image editor that you like to use. And now we are going to take the 23.1 or whatever version is the newest for you that you wanna update to and take that Sprite Atlas and put it into the Photoshop or whatever image editor you use. We're going to create a new layer and make a black background. Also, with some textures, the border of it could be black. For example, if you are editing the cap of the star power notes, the bottom of it is black. So you could use a bit of a dark gray image like that. That also works and you can see all the textures just fine. So for this example, we're gonna keep it like this. All right, so now that we have the default textures for the current version, we are going to go back to the textures folder and import the default sheet for the older version that the mod is currently on and open up a new file. Do the same thing. And then over this version, the version that the mod is currently on, we are going to import the uh, sprite sheet for the mod. And now we gotta make sure that this is perfectly lined up just so we can see the textures easily. There we go. And we're going to put the modded version on top. So now you can see that right here is where the score box is located. And you can see that with the older version of the game, the Sprite Atlas has everything in different locations. So that's what I mean by uh, nearly every update, the Sprite Atlas changes locations. So sadly, you cannot just take the Sprite Atlas from the mod and just put it into the new game. All right, so anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to copy the score box over as an example. So we're going to take the score box right here from the Guitar Hero 3, and we're going to Control C and paste it into the 23.1 Sprite Atlas. We're gonna move it over here, make sure it's on the top layer. And we're going to layer it over the texture, the exact same texture that it's layered over from the default Sprite Atlas like this. But actually, uh, I just realized this one is a bit off center. So I think, I'm not sure which one is off center. It might be the GH3 one. Let me make sure. 
Yep, it is the GH3 that is off center a bit. So I think that should fix it. There we go. Okay, so you want to make sure that they are perfectly lined up, like I said, because if they are not, then you're going to have issues uh, lining up the texture on the main sprite sheet for the current version. So you're going to overlay it onto the same texture that is currently over on the newer sprite sheet. And then you are going to try to line it up pixel perfect with how it's already lined up. So this is a very easy way to just copy textures over without having to do much trial and error on your end. So we're going to count how many pixels it comes out. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So like right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should be the exact same. And then you want to make sure that it's also lined up uh, horizontally or vertically, correct? So we're going to count from the bottom one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now it should be lined up perfectly with how it is on this one. I'm going to just make sure that it is. Looks good to me. So now that that is done, we have the score box in location. And now we need to copy the little texture up here for the song progress bar, which is located at the top of the sprite sheet. On the Actually, I think that's on the newer version. I don't remember where it is on this one, so we're just going to take a look around. Actually, I think this is it right here. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to copy this right here, which is the song progress bar. And we are going to overlay it on the same texture that it's currently over on the new Sprite Atlas sheet, just like we did with the score box. So if we disable that, you'll see that the texture it's above is this little bar right here. So I believe that is somewhere up, right up here on the top. As you can see, it's the same texture on the 23.1 sprite sheet. So we're just going to paste that and we are going to line it up just like it was on the other one. There we go. I think that is perfect. Just going to make sure There we go, now it is perfect. Okay, so now that that is done, we are going to go ahead and delete the textures that were behind this one on the default sprite sheet, so that way they're not overlaying. Click on layer one and delete these textures off the default. You wanna be careful not to uh, accidentally go too far and delete other textures as well. So now that we have the song progress bar, we're going to go down to the score box and delete the background of the score box here. And now you have those textures updated onto the new sprite sheet. Uh, what we're going to do for the score box as well, since this version only has the little box or the little circle here for these stars, we don't need these actual stars, so we're going to delete these as well. I'm pretty sure this one as well. And I think that is all. So now we are going to remove the background image. Make sure that you don't have anything layered on here that's not supposed to be here. And go ahead and click on File and Save As. And we're going to save it as a PNG. Go into the Clone Euro Modding Tools, Textures, Modded Textures, and GH3 Score Box 23.1. There we go. So now we have the modded Sprite Atlas with the textures from the previous version. So we can close out of these. You don't really need to save unless you want to. Okay, and get rid of Photoshop. 
And now we're going to go to the Clone Hero modding tools, go to Asset Extractor and open this up again. Click on File and Open. And then we want to go to our Clone Hero install folder, go to Clone Hero Data and data.unity3d. Uh, unpack it if it asks you. And then Data Files, Unpacked, and just save it as whatever. There we go. Click on Info, the very bottom one. Going to sort it by type, go to Textures once more, and find the Sprite Atlas once again. There we go. Click on it, make sure it's blue. Plugins. And this time, we're going to click on Edit. Click OK. I'm going to click on load and then we are going to find the modded texture file that you just made modded textures and there it is and then we are going to click OK on it and then click OK down here at the bottom left and this box will come up click OK once more and the program will freeze for a few seconds while it's importing the texture it's completely normal just wait a few seconds and these two boxes will disappear once it's complete there we go and then come up here and click on File and Save. Click on File, Save. And then we are going to go to the Clone Hero file, going to the Clone Hero data file. And then once again, as I showed in the last video, you cannot just overwrite the data file if you currently have it open in a program. So if you see I try to do this, it'll tell me you can't do it because it's currently in use. So we are going to go to, oh, wrong one. Going to click, whoops. We're going to click on File and Save and then click on the data file and just add a 2 to the end of that name. And then we're going to go, in, go into our Clone Hero folder and either, re or either move the data file into a backups folder or just delete it. And then we are going to remove the 2 from this name. So that way this one is the only data.unity3d file in this folder. And now all we have to do is open up Clone Hero and we should see our changes. And there you go, you can see that the score box has been updated. So now you know how to update mods. It's a pretty simple process. Just take the textures from the old sprite sheet and make sure that they're lined up with the default textures and bring them over to the new sprite sheet and make sure that they're lined up the same. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Now that you know how to do that, you can go ahead and begin updating mods yourself. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult for things like flames and star power notes as they have multiple frames for the animations. So I'll be doing a video later in the future as well as uh, showing you how to make sure that the animations are lined up pixel perfect. It's a very tedious process, but it's well worth it in the end when you have a completed mod. I wish you luck in trying to update the mods that you want to do. And if you have any questions, don't forget, you can come into the Clone Hero Discord and talk in modding help, and there's tons of people here willing to help out. There's a bunch of different channels as well for the types of mods that you want to do, and you can share your stuff, you can share your adventures of breaking the game and doing whatever you want. But yeah, I wish you luck in modding. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or join the Discord. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like.